Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to sell a Canva website template in 2024. Of course, Canva makes it very easy to design some stunning templates. So today, I'll guide you through the process of creating and also selling and promoting them in Canva websites, uh, which whatever Canva websites, of course, templates you have. So let's get started. Before we start with this video, make sure to watch it from now till the end so you have full experience. First, you will need to go and open a browser for me here, me and brave for you. You can open whatever you want. Go to this URL section, type canva.com, hit the enter button. Of course, if it's your first time, you'll be taken here to this page. Click on login to log into your account. You can use Google, Facebook, and as you can see, Microsoft, Apple. If you have one of those accounts, you can simply log in very fast. Same will be for sign up. If you have one of those accounts, you don't have to go through all the board steps of creating or even logging into your account. If you're logged in already or you just log in and create your account, you'll find yourself here. So first of all, you would like to create a template for a website. So go to the first right corner, click on create a template here, just simply type websites. So type website, click on the first option. And as you can see, you will be taken where you can start creating your Canva template. Of course, make sure to not use any template in here. Why? Because you would like to create like your own template to sell it, not use other people's templates. Uh, so for me, as you can see, I'm not going to do that because I'm not trying to sell anything. I'm just going to show you how. So, example, I'll just choose one of the templates that they already have. Let's say I just choose from these templates in here. As you can see, it's already like published as the websites and etc. As you can see, it's in, already in here. For you, of course, make sure to create your template. And once you create it, of course, just design it and by adding the elements, of course, like text, images, layout, make sure that the template is versatile and easy to customize for different and other users. Of course, don't like make it a single image where you can't like edit anything. That's gonna be bad. So just make it easy to customize for everyone and keep your design clean and professional to appeal for potential or to potential buyer. So of course, once you are happy with your design, all you need to do first of all is to save it and export it. So click on share the top right corner. Once you click on share, as you can see, you'll find the download option. Just go and click on that download option. Here, you would like to choose PDF prints. Once you choose PDF print in here, uh, of course, this is going to be for like high quality exports, or you can even choose uh, PNG. This could be good also for individual elements. Make sure your template is well organized and all components are included. Of course, you can select even which pages do you want to export. For example, maybe a page you are trying on, you can just exclude it, or a page you are not comfortable with, you can simply just exclude it. It's actually up to you. Of course, it's better to have a premium plan or a pro plan for that. So for example, once you do so, we'll need to go and click on download to download up. And as you can see, all you need to do, just wait for it until it's downloaded. And to sell, of course, your Canva template, you will need a platform. You can use Marketplace like Etsy or whatever you want. For so example, it will be downloaded as a zip file. So just go and click on uh, download. And as you can see, it will be downloaded. So as I said, uh, to set up like, uh, or to sell like your Canva templates, you will need a platform. You can use like marketplaces like Etsy, Creative Markets, or Gumroad. Alternatively, you can sell directly through your own websites using platforms like Shopify or WordPress. You can set up your store by adding products, listing, uh, setting like prices, and uploading your template file. Of course, if you want to like use Canva specifically for selling your templates, you can just open a new tab example and just type as example like uh, how to sell Canva websites. Hit the enter button, you'll find if you scroll down like uh, thing by Canva, as you can see, use Canva to, uh, to design like some digital and physical products for sale. As an example, so click on that and it'll show you exactly how to do it on Canva. But for me, actually, it's not optimal to sell it on Canva because a lot of people like already created some hundreds and even thousands of templates and they already like so much good. I don't think it's a good idea to sell it in here, but it's totally up to you if you want to sell it in here. You can simply just follow this uh, article in here. They'll show you how to do it. As I said for me, uh, make sure to set up uh, like a sales platform. Of course, I'll show you like Etsy in here and the Gumroad. Of course, Gumroad is also good. So just go and type Gumroad and Etsy. So here I'm already logged in. I can just go and shop manager Gumroad. Okay, I'll just go here and click on login. Login using Facebook uh, or sorry, Google. And yeah, continue. Of course, you can use like also your Shopify store. For example, if you have a store. And basically, like 
try to create like websites that will first of all attract uh, some uh, like attention to people. Yeah, I'm right here. Of course, they send me a code. So six six nine five and nine zero. My phone and click on login. And yeah, of course, you can go here as an example on, on Gumroad. You can go to products and you can simply just go and click on new products. Make sure it's a digital products, of course, name it. So, for example, uh, templates. So, websites, templates. Here, you'll have to do the same. So, price, you can put an example whatever you want, maybe $20 for me. Then click on next, customize. So, basically, I'll upload just image or videos, computer files, and go to downloads. And it should be okay. I need. Okay, then I need just this external link example to support like media from YouTube, Venmo, and SoundCloud. Okay, it's not like the file is not a video. Oh, oh this is just the cover. Okay, uh, I got confused for a moment. I said like, how is that like possible? Okay, so this is just the cover. You can just post like the first page as a cover, whatever you want for me. I'll just put a random image in here. Make sure for you to do the same. Here you will be able to upload the file. So here's where we'll be able to upload. So this is what I want for me. So an example here, I'll just go to download, of course, like all files. And for me, I want to upload this specific file. So invalid file site. Okay, again, this is like a thumbnail. I'm like tripping a little bit. But anyway, so where can you like add your uh, thing? So where is it? So the name, URL of it, of course. Custom domain, if you have one, just connect it. Uh, thumbnails, of course. So for me, I'll just go here and choose like a random thumbnail. So I just choose one, call to action, uh, image must be square. Okay, sure. Uh, but I don't have square images in here. Okay, I'll just not upload the thumbnail. Summary, additional details, of course, you can add any additional t details, integrations, versions, of course, also, then click on save and continue. And basically, you'll have to add the content. Yeah, so here's where you'll be able to add the content, of, of course, of it. Make sure to click on this upload example and insert like something from your computer. So now, let's just see. Yeah, now I can upload the zip file. So this is basically what I wanted here. And then you can publish this and continue. The same will be for any other like shop. Upload it and you'll be able to sell it as simple as that. Of course, you can promote your templates on social media. Uh, partner with some influencers uh, using whatever you want. You can provide, of course, and support, uh, provide support and updates for anyone that's buy it. And very important to uh, keep and keep it alive, as an example, with your customers. And yeah, you can also track sales and, uh, and analyze like performance by connecting some Google Analytics or whatever you want. It's actually up to you to do that. And yeah, that should be it for me today. Thank you for watching and I'll catch you in the next video. So goodbye.